So I was literally about to go outside and sell some stuff, and then I noticed the mysterious elf is here. A wounded elf, huh? Well, there's lots of wounded in Canabras. Who wounded him? In what way? Anevi appears relaxed, even nonchalant, but her eyes gleam attentively, and her hand, as if by coincidence, is resting on her belt next to her weapon. How should I know? It must have been demons. If the wound was serious, I doubt he has fully recovered from it. Maybe if you could point me towards the healer, I could. The woman, wrapped in rags, uh, all the way up to her eyes, turns around at the sound of footsteps. Damn it! In a lightning fast motion, Anevia knocks something from the woman's hand. An amulet that seemingly appeared out of nowhere. It falls to the ground and disappears in a flash of magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay a while. The commander and me, we got a couple questions for you two. You won't escape this time. Who are you? Where are you hiding? The elf, you hear a heavy sigh coming from under the shawl. Fine, you got me. We'll talk, but not here. Leave me somewhere away from prying eyes. She's all yours, Commander. I caught her, handed her over, and now, as they say, I wash my hands of this whole affair. Okay. What do you want from me, soldier? In an exasperated gesture, she rips the half mask off her face. Her skin is black like onyx, and her eyes have a menacing ruby glint to them. Uh, let's take a closer look. Can we? Maybe? Nah, the self may have fallen victim to some wicked magic, a curse maybe, or did her long service to the forces of darkness twist her appearance in some gruesome way? Who are you? Giving you a scrutinizing look, she says harshly, there's no point in you knowing, soldier, trust me. The answer would only bring you misfortune, and it still wouldn't be of any use to you. I'm a wanderer. You won't ever meet me again. What are you doing in my camp? With a bitter smile, she spits out, would you be satisfied if I said I won't bring any harm to you or your people or your cause? I'm looking for an outsider here who couldn't care less about your crusade. If he lives, you won't gain anything. If he dies, you'll lose nothing. Um, what's with the appearance? A demon's handiwork. Some shrieking spawn flew across the sky, raining corruption down upon us. I was caught in the attack. It's fine. It'll go away soon. She shrugs nonchalantly and looks past you. I met other elves who looked like you. They served the demons. And Amora's minions... The words escape her lips before she's able to stop them, and she looks at you with visible irritation. <sighs> One of Discari's servants is a powerful elf by the name of Anamora, and those corrupted elves are her lackeys. Don't ask me how I know or why my appearance is similar to theirs. I'm not your enemy, but if you see them, kill them without remorse. Are you a spy? Her scarlet eyes flash defiantly, and she must mutters through her teeth, I'm not going to hide it. I have come here to commit a violent and bloody act, but I do not serve the demons and I won't do you or your forces any harm. I get. I don't play coy. Details. Why? Frowning skeptically, she gives you an appraising look. And what will you do with my story? Take it into account and pass your judgment? Kill me if you deem me a reprobate? Help the poor girl if you don't? Well, I haven't asked you for help or your and your authority to judge me seems rather dubious. She's clearly lying to you, but it doesn't feel like the guile of someone plotting a crime. There is a slight hounded look to her eyes that makes her seem more like prey than hunter. I guess I'll leave you be then. She shrugs casually as if her fate has not been hanging in the balance just a moment ago. How nice of you, soldier. My gut tells me it's time I was leaving too. It's dangerous to stay here. Farewell. Okay. <sighs> I agree, Kian. I agree. Wait. I'm gone. We're... What? We have... Is that... Um... Okay. So, we just got elementals just running around. I mean, honestly, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Okay. Uh... Well, sir. Uh, I could use some advice. The soldiers are worried. Everybody can feel it. The decisive battle is coming. The big one we started at the crusade for. Some of the lads are getting real jittery, and I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help them. Should I ask the bards to come up with a rousing song or maybe throw a little shindig? Um. Uh, good night's sleep on a full stomach. Make sure everyone's well, well rested and fed before the attack. You have a point, Commander. I'll do as you say. No soldier will go into battle hungry or weary come morning. Uh, what a march, eh, Commander? I won't forget it. Not in a million years. I can't stop shaking whenever I think about Leper's smile. It's a miracle that we lost so few back there. The soldiers realized that if you made the wrong decision, half the army wouldn't have made it out. They're scared. They're scared things are only going to get nastier from here. What if we held awake, lit up bonfires, poured some wine, raised our cups in memory of the fallen? It'd do the troops a world of good. Um... 
We'll commemorate the fallen. Give the soldiers some wine, but not enough for them to get smashed. Yes. Never, Commander. Everything will be proper, solemn, with due respect for the fallen. We're mourning the dead, not celebrating a wedding. Um. We do any wine shop proud. Do, 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 do. Oh. I have to go. Wait, is are you not who I'm gonna? I thought I you bought a uh, supply. Do you do? Show me what you have. There we go. Why didn't I? Bulk sell. Beautiful. Okay. Sorry. We're here to get. Whoa. Wait. 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 I'm gonna keep you because you just look really cool. Um. I'm gonna keep that for now just to be safe. Yeah. Crossbow of judgment, maybe. Nobody uses that. I feel like this light hammer is not as good. Like, let's get rid of the non... Fun? Oh, wait. Do I have multiple of those? Maybe. I'll see in a second. This. This, 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 this. Oh my gosh. Y'all, when was the last time we sold stuff? What is this? Okay. Oh, this. Oh, that's cool. Uh... We'll hold on to that. No, no. Um, so this? No, well, wait, where did I find this? I don't really need that. I want to keep Radiance. Uh, confirms critical hit. Mm. Uh, no. 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 Uh, maybe. No, I like that one. I think, well, I, I have no, no, what are you, oh, maybe, okay, no, 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 two, and, wait, yeah, well, hold on, we'll keep that just in case, always keep all this stuff, now, Let's see what you got for po and you potion. Do you have no potions? I thought you did. Uh, ingredients, armor, shield. No, no. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So we're richer. We we have lightened our load considerably. Uh, let's see quickly. Sorry, we have this bruiser chainmail. Right. Can I put that? Oh, who can I put that on? So like, like I'm debating on this. I feel like I put that on Darren before. Um, we got that. I wanted to see, is this shield better than Seela's? So we got three, one, five. Okay, so that's all normal. Uh, whenever an enemy hits the wielder of this plus two light shield with any touch attack. Yes. Way better. Love that. Uh, and then this I'm going to, oh, I, can you, no, you can't just add to wares kind of thing. Okay. Um, this, so then before, cause I'm not taking Sila with me. Okay. That's a plus one. Those are both plus twos. What is this ring? Um, bonus on using skill checks. Yeah, you can have that too, to be safe. What is this? Belt of constitution. Um, what are you wearing? Okay, you got that. Yeah, that's probably better. Uh, take a look of resistance plus two. Um, take the constitution. You got a cloak. Do you have a cloak? You do not. Uh, let's hide. Okay. Wait, hold on. Show default gear. Oh, you look so, oh man, everybody's default gear looks so good. Like it was meant for them or something like that. Okay. Um, good, good. Sila, that is fine for you. You don't have anything. Okay, perfect. So everybody's got a little something. Okay, you do use decks though, so that might help a little mm. okay so seal i have no weapons for you oh i guess but hers is special i hate taking it from her so 
That's good. That's fine. Lovely. Do you do I have any armor for Camellia? Chainmail shirt plus one. Uh you know what? Just to have it on her, it's not a bad idea. Wait, is this one? But no. Okay. Perfect. So I feel like we've kind of like upgraded everybody at this point. We've got what we need. I feel like we can go in to battle. I just, I don't know why I'm leveling everybody, but just in case, because you never know. Okay. So I think we're good to go to Dresden. Like, oh my goodness. It's time to go to Dresden. All right. Yeah, I can. Let's go to Dresden. Um, this way. Wait, before we go though, I want to triple check that. I don't, I thought we had double checked that like nobody else has extra dialogue, but let's just quickly talk to Lan. Okay. Yeah, he had nothing. All right. Let's we go. do it my way. Are you ready? I like this party. Wait. Yeah, I like this party. And it should serve us well in Dresden. All right. So we need you. Come here. Accept. Yes. Okay. Skip a day. Can I not? This way. Perfect. Oh. Okay. So that has happened. Fantastic. Love that. Um, let's give you Master Menu. Oh wait. Whoops. Um. Sure. Sounds great. Is there any other? Nope. Everybody's good. Let's do. I want to see. Yes. Okay. So now. Uh, I need you. E this. Nope. These other ones. You don't have a general. There you go. Now you all have a general. You're welcome. You have a general. It's very good to have a general for your army heal. It helps. It helps a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Um, well, I guess I could go link, but we're gonna go do this stuff later. Okay, we ready? Nope. I like it how like it moves you. So basically, once you have your army defeat that tower that we just defeated right in front of Dresden, that's when it like moves your camp and then forces you here kind of thing. So that's your like cutoff point. Your army halts along a hill. In the distance, you can see the walls of Dresden. Smoke rises over the city. Winged figures are circling in the sky above it, but they don't look like birds. It's time to discuss strategy. It was once an unassailable fortress. Luckily for us, the demons destroyed a lot of the defenses when they stormed around the city. And in 70 years, they haven't gotten around to mending them, but this isn't going to be easy. Unfortunately, most of the walls are still standing. Ugh. Hello, your highness. And Evia stops hearing a clamor of astonishment, stops hearing a clamor of astonishment and jubilation outside the tent. The curtain moves and her majesty, Galfrey Amendev, enters wearing opulent armor with her famous long sword at her belt. The queen smiles mischievously. Forgive the intrusion. It wasn't easy to catch up with you. Oh, your majesty is here. Your Majesty, what a surprise. Anevia says in a voice that indicates anything but. Either your chief scout is concealing her shock very well, or she was already aware of the Queen's presence in camp. Anevia knew. Come on, like, you you couldn't pay me enough to believe that Anevia didn't know. Oh. I'm just quickly trying to see. Okay. I'm like, what is Nenio doing? She's like, hit herself back here. When the queen takes her place at the table, please continue your discussion and try to imagine I'm not here. I'd like to hear the plan you settle on. Anevia spreads an old city map on the table. The gates are old and rotten now. We can get through them with a ram, but there'll be a street fight. There will be street fights, rather. It will be a hell of a lot. It'll be a hell of a fight in Dresden. Luckily, somewhere in the city, there's a sacred banner. 
The Sword of Valor, Iomade's holy relic, wouldn't fall to corruption like ever. <laughs> the demons just keep it as a trophy or a sign of our disgrace, and now it's going to be their downfall. If you find it and raise it again, all the demons in the city will be weakened and lose their ability to teleport. That's when we'll chop them up like blind rats. But don't forget Staunton Vane is somewhere out there, the same traitor who gave Drazen over to the demons in the first place. He won't part with the banner easily. Nora raises her hand like a student in class. May I say something? May I? I have a plan. Regil looks at you without speaking. It seems he has a suggestion. Regil, what did you want to suggest? He, what could he suggest? An even more painful way to die? Erebus eyes shine feverishly with her gaunt face. Who are you lying to? Yourselves? Each other? The gods? For a moment, she looks at the queen's stony face, hesitating, and then she continues in a hollow voice. Everything is futile. You all realize that we're going to die. We're leading our people to slaughter. Our army was almost defeated by a swarm of gargoyles. We won't last five minutes in Dresden. Beth, are you nuts? Yes, it's a dangerous gig. We all knew what we were signing up for. But now that we've got here, you want us to shit our pants and go home? We got to bloody Dresden by some miracle, and we're going to take it back. Kind of laid a chicken out now, don't you think? It doesn't matter what we do. The lad hanging on the hook next to me didn't want to die, but what could he do to fend off death? What could I do? We're all doomed, but only a few of us are willing to admit it. By this time tomorrow, we'll all be dead. Erebus's voice drifts away and then seems to carry from a distance, making its way through the sticky veil of fog that fills your mind. The demon that's appeared inside you struggles to be free. A little bit more, and its wave of rage will engulf you. Um... I think you still haven't recovered from what you went through. That you pull yourself together. No, uh, Erebeth, pull yourself together. Remember Canabras, despite everything, we won and stopped a catastrophe. We won? Yes, by some miracle, we took a bite out of the demon forces. Without the power you were granted, we'd have died in the Grey Garrison. End of story. Dresden will be our death. You, Commander, might still have a chance to be saved, but you're leading your people to certain ruin. You pathetic little nothing. You were so proud of your strength, and yet you broke so easily. The demonic rage inside you seethes searches for an exit it struggles to get out exhausting threatening and convincing at the same time you also feel strong enough to keep it under control if you want to there you have it a perfect illustration of why the crusades have made not an inch of progress in a hundred years a whining upstart commander has been put in charge of a knightly order by an idealistic queen circumventing all the rules of military hierarchy a now said upstart has crumbled in her first serious trial Regil chuckles harshly. Absolutely everything in this situation, from the story of Erebeth's rise to the reasons why she lost her reason and morale, demonstrates how dire matters truly are on our front. These problems can be rectified, of course, but to do that, we will need to drive the black sheep from the herd. Sir Paralictor, are you comfortable with this idealistic queen standing next to you? Very much so, your majesty. Besides, you asked us not to pay you any. <laughs> the fact that he says that to Galfrey, I feel like if you're like me and not a big Galfrey fan, um, this one line from Regal alone makes him like my favorite person ever. <laughs> All things considered. And the queen looks at Arabeth. Her voice when she begins to talk sounds surprisingly soft. I was in your place once, Commander Tirabade, many, many years ago. I also want to throw my sword to the ground and give up. What made you want that, your majesty? What happened? Arabeth avoids looking at the queen. What happened? My god died. The neighboring lands were being devoured by the world wound. It didn't seem it would stop at Sarkoris. Galfrey's voice remains warm, a little pensive. In this moment, it's easy to believe that she is more than a century old and has seen all the horrible events of the rain region unfold before her eyes. But I'm still here, and my kingdom still stands, just as it did the day my doubts nearly got the better of me. Um, okay, this... Maybe. Erebeth, I hope we know each other well enough that you can see I've never doubted you. Others may have, but not me. Your people and the queen are relying on you. Our victory depends on you. You can't give up now. Um, I thought we had a lot in common. The same fire burns inside both of us. If you break, what am I to do as your comrade and commander? You leave me no choice. No. Let's try it. Let's try the diplomacy. Yes. Erebeth shakes her head as if she's chasing away an apparition. Yes, you're right. Forgive me, commander. I had a moment of weakness. That was dishonorable. It will not happen again. And Evia catches Erebeth's eye and gives her a nod some encouragement. So what are we going to do, Commander? Um, Regil, what did you want to suggest? Wait, do I have to do this again? My scouts were able to approach the fortress wall. They learned something unpleasant. The demons have giants who can shoot alchemist fire from catapults or something even worse. Or sometimes something even worse. They're positioned here. Regil draws crosses on the map. Luckily, as Anevia said, the city's fortifications are in a sorry state. If we come from this side through the temple ruin, we can sneak up on the giants and finish them off before they inflict serious damage on our army. 
It's a high risk, highly risky maneuver. If my unit was injured and exhausted or suffering significant losses, I would consider this risk excessive and never countenance this plan. Fortunately, thanks to the commander's timely aid, the Hell Knight suffered almost no losses during the encounter with the gargoyles. We're ready to perform the maneuver, but we'll need cover in case we run into any special demons, like the Nabasu we all remember. Commander, I'd like your party to attack the giants with us. The fighters won't like that. Our lads are hoping the commander will personally lead them into battle, not go off with the Hell Knights. Really? They won't like it? I'm tired of getting, of talking about the outrageous state of discipline in the Crusader army. Shall we see how they like fire raining down on them from the sky? Uh, what are the Eagle Watch Knights going to do? The Eagle Watch are most experienced Crusaders in the army. They must set an example for the others. We'll spread them across the other units, so each one has at least a few. We will fight in the group that storms the gates. Nura? Oh, my plan is great. It's magnificent. Here, take a look. Nura spreads another map across the table. I had to dig into the archives to find it, but it was worth it. This is it. The ace that will bring us victory. This is a map of a secret passage, passage that leads to Dresden's dungeon. An entire army can't pass through there, but your unit can easily get through and strike the demons from below. They definitely won't be expecting that. Besides, of course, we don't know exactly where the Sword of Valor is stored, but I think we should first look in the dungeon. With a little luck, you'll win the battle before the demons even realize it's begun. I hate asking. Galfrey, anything you want to add? I will storm the city with the army. I'm told my presence improves morale. All right, we'll attack tomorrow at dawn. Begin preparations. Where will you be? Um, hmm. Does it like, I don't know if it matters. Like, I feel like I've tried, like, I know the dungeon will get us a Rushalai, uh, if we wanted her early, which is kind of why we did the extra stuff with the Lost Chapel. Um, I think I've also gone with the Hell Knights before, and I've led the charge. Um, I don't know if there's honestly a better way, but if you're role-playing this for Abs, Abby's always been about her troops and keeping them alive. Um, so I feel like if she knows it'll bolster morale, on one hand, she'd lead with the charge, but on the other hand, going with the Hell Knights, getting rid of the Giants really fast, so then that way her troops can actually get through makes more sense so i think abby would just x the dungeons like that that's not a thing and then i think she'd waffle between personally leading the charge and going with the hell knights to attack the giants i do think getting rid of the giants first and foremost though is the best plan it's the way to keep her people alive so i guess i should have meant that or i think abby's character isn't about obviously the outright look like she's not she doesn't necessarily care about like public opinion in that regard but what she does care about is keeping her people alive so if they spread rumors about her if they're unhappy but they're alive to do that i think that she seems that it's worth it so hell knights and attack the giants a rational decision all right we attack at dawn like i, I feel like that this is the right call for her okay make it to dresden let's go oh yes okay um i was very confused very very confused because we had regel in the party already and then they're like but you have to take him and i'm like but i wanted to <laughs> so as, like i just saw that i was like what okay besides do they need abby as much as they need their queen at the forefront Mm -hmm. uh eagle watch and you recruits listen up i don't know how many of us will survive this day i don't know whether i will but i know one thing is for sure today will tip where the tip of the sword in naoma day's hand dead or alive will rip out the fangs of the abyss to arms for mendev for canabras fine words commander tirabade and now to arms yeah they're all very excited okay here we go Hopefully nobody dies via arrow. Okay, good. They made it to the... <sighs> Y'all, this is going to be our home soon. And watching it get destroyed is always sad because you know it has to happen and we got to rebuild after, but... <laughs> My front gate. <laughs> okay. Onward! There they go. Yeah, We made it. All right. Let's do it, y'all. In we go. Hell Knights already proving why they are so good at their job. Where is Yacker? 
Excuse me. I need Yacker. No, I was kind of. Uh, cancel. Okay, so we've got short rest here. Can't hide from me. Uh, we're looting a graveyard. Yes, we're looting a graveyard. Okay. Um, how do I like? Where do we go? This way, maybe. This okay. will be quick. Ah, uh, we're not on turn base. I don't really want to be on turn base right now. Okay. Wait, full break. You got claws, eye, right? Yeah. Whoops, a doodle. Dun 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 dun. dun. There. And... Got it. Can you kill? Thank you. Okay. Okay. So let's see any good loot. No. Is this to the barracks? Is this where we can go? Let me just see. Hell Knights, Abby. Mm -hmm. I don't, I forget like how much time is with the essence here. Like, I feel like it's a little bit, but not like super, super much. Like it is a fight to the death kind of thing. And like that, that's, that's expected. Okay. Uh, this, like, is this, if I go up top, I think that they're up here. So I think we got to go into the barracks and then upstairs, but we could also go here first and help these guys out. Yeah, obstacle. let's do this. Okay, I got baddies up there. I know he's already gonna take a hit, so we're just gonna play him. Don't be sorry, Ember. They will kill you. Oh my goodness, Abby, where are you? What are you doing? Here now. Darren, kill her. Okay. I have a insulin. Uh, you take it against Clavica that enslaved your soul. Our souls enslaved. I since, still since, got it. Since when? When did our soul get enslaved? Abby, when did your soul get enslaved, girl? Just now. It's gone now. Okay. Good. That, that literally just happened. Okay. Everybody get up. Okay. Um, let's do... Okay, perfect. Uh, save. Uh, pause. Where is this? Close ranks. Okay. Attack! Okay, we got this. Abby. You've got, is this mirror image? Yeah, cast mirror image, kind of keeps you blurred. Okay. What is this? Did you die? No. Uh, let's give you some constitution. Cause he gets hit so often. Athletics, mobility, perfect. Um, who was left? Anybody? Okay. All right, are we good? Uh, this through here. Done. Is this? It's so funny, cause like you, like we know. Okay, so this is all of them. I do need to get up top. Okay, we're gonna come back. Oh wait, is this it here? Like, all right, nothing before. Darren. No, give everybody this. That must have hurt. Okay, now this. Okay, everybody up here. I won't let you hurt my friend. Is this? I don't know what this is. Okay. Good. Blessing. Wait. Darren, not everybody got blessed. One more time. For the people in the back who didn't get blessed the first time. Please tell me. Yeah, it hit him. Okay. How we doing, everybody? One more. This is it. This guy. Okay. 
Okay. What's this? It's storming. Okay. Right. I need to get rid of those. So that that is where we're going. Okay. 